So, what's going on you guys? This is New York Adventure in 1994 here and today's Monday, November 16, 2020 and I haven't been much myself tonight. It has to do with school and over the last 72 hours, a lot of new cases of COVID have been reported. And now school is closed for me for tomorrow morning. So now I'm on remote learning for the time being and I don't know if the closing is going to extend. I really should be concerned about this because I don't know how long it's going to take. The numbers of COVID are like growing at a dangerous fast pace right now. And this is really bad. I know I've been concerned the last time you guys saw my face. When I was talking about the situation between McJuggernuggets, Bridget, and Michael. But now there's something going on with my school. A lot of new cases have been found for COVID and now they're shutting down for the safety of us. Don't be alarmed guys, I didn't get anything, thank goodness. I just hope I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I have to get tested or anything. I don't know why I'm saying all this stuff randomly just because I don't know what's going to happen. This is so, this is really nerve wracking news right now. I, we're just two months into a new school year and we're almost in the holidays season. And we're playing up with this again. The temperatures are dropping and new cases are on the rise once more. So I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm just gonna have to be brave and go along with this stupid game that's still happening. That's been happening for months, ever since March. I just hope it doesn't press on that my school gets closed for the rest of the year again. I hope this is not goodbye after a night to my school. I love going to that school dearly, I really do. Hold on. As I was saying, I really love going to that school dearly, but it's just really hard right now. I'm really, really close to snapping right now, but not on camera. And I won't do it because I'm outside. Because I don't want to get any complaints from my neighbors that I've been yelling. But I don't really want to yell. I don't really like yelling or getting mad on camera. Yeah, I, I really don't like getting mad. You mostly see me as kind. But I'm just really frustrated right now and stressed what's still happening see a lot of these people just abuse the COVID guidelines and this is what happens I'm not mad at anyone in the school right now it's just I'm frustrated at the whole situation
so right now I'm on remote learning. I'm gonna have to get up early tomorrow just to cancel my bus from coming here. First thing in the morning. So I'm gonna have to set my usual alarm and cancel my bus now. I was so afraid of this since last week when I found out all the cases were going high. The cases are like going through the roof right now. Because all the temperatures are dropping and it's flu season. It's, it's kind of cold out here right now. That's why I have my hoodie on. We're a lot of fur inside. Good thing I don't have the virus. Everything was good with me, but I just hope this is not the end of me taking another step in that building after today. I just hope it doesn't get worse that school's closed for the rest of the year. I'm stuck on the computer doing it. I was really angry during the spring when I had to finish my school year like that last year. I've been having a lot of bad luck since I've been trapped at the airport last October when I got that flight canceled back to New York. This is how bad my post trip was from Disney. It's been over a year now and things are still getting to me at this point. I'm just so fed up. It's it's ongoing. Yesterday I had to stress about Michael and Bridget breaking up because of McDrug and Nuggets. Michael can't afford another breakup. I mean, his parents are divorced and his father's gone. They've been divorced for almost nine years. And the grandma lived in New York for three years because they got divorced. But I don't want to go into the angry grandpa stuff right now. I'm just fed up of today. So I'm going to have to go on Google Classroom tomorrow morning. And see what work is left in store for me. I just don't like this. I really don't. I just hope this vaccine comes really soon and kills this virus. Once and for all. But everything's going back on lockdown pretty much and Chicago was like one of the first places to do so. I wouldn't want to live in Chicago right now. It's really bad. But I feel like New York is targeted because I live near one of the biggest cities in the world. It's like it's like one of the most contaminated areas right now on the map. Yeah, I'm not too far away from it at all. Because I'm in Long Island. And of course it's going to contaminate Long Island too. It's worldwide, this pandemic. Like somebody's starting up a generator. Anyways. Right now, they just said that we're, we're only closed for tomorrow. But I'll, I'll keep a lookout for more updates tomorrow when they call my house again. Like, maybe I'll go back in on Wednesday or maybe more closures are issued. I hope, I hope it's not closed continuously. 
I mean, I, I've been trying to stay away from a lot of people. Keeping six or, or more feet apart from people. For social distancing. I've been trying to do the right thing. I've been bringing a mask and everything. And wearing it. And social distance. But. Reopening everything was a mixed idea. Like between good or bad. I mean good because you miss all the stuff you did back then. Before all this happened. And bad because. People are like grouping up with each other. In the public. We're in danger of another lockdown right now. Thanksgiving and Christmas are gonna be hard this year. It's really gonna be hard. I just, I just hope it's not the end after tonight. I never knew post-grad could be this challenging for people who graduated during the pandemic or beforehand, like sometime beforehand. I graduated nine months before this all happened. I've been through all four seasons in this pandemic. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. And we're almost at the end of fall. I don't know if I'm gonna have to quarantine or something. I'll, or get tested. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what the rules are gonna be. I feel like we're gonna start from scratch. Go through the phases. All that. I just hope this winter doesn't turn out to be so cold. I hope this vaccine gets here as soon as possible. I mean, on Sunday I got one case of COVID in school, but it wasn't me. It, don't think it's me. I said. I only heard about one case in the school, but that was like some other kid in some other class. But I was still good today, but now I'm closer tomorrow. So let's see what happens. I don't know if we're going to stop from scratch or what. I guess that's it. Bye.